Greetings, greetings. Hello, Black Fox. Welcome to the stream. It's a fine day in the Zib household. There's the rumblings and bumblings of a pupper out in the hall. It's doing very well. Very well indeed. Uh, there should be music, but let's see. Why am I not getting music? Why am I not getting music? It should be playing like crazy. Maybe I need the mini player. Probably. Good grief. Da -da 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 -da. I said boop. When I say boop, I expect things to happen. All right. Come on, mini player. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? There you are, you stank little jerk. Doot. There we are. Ah, uh, yes. I gotta have my tunes. I can't draw without tunes. It's awkward and strange, and I don't like it. Speaking of awkward and strange, and I don't like it. I'm doing great. Oh my goodness. Just took the, the papa for a, a walk, his third walk of the day. He is doing very well. I'm actually very pleased. We've only had him here at the Fabian Zip HQ for, uh, Oh gosh, three days. And he is doing wonderfully. He's doing great. He's uh he's giving us good cues, so now we're we're learning learning his uh his bathroom cue really well. Um so when he has to go potty, out we go. And he eats well, he plays like a demon, he loves to walk and run. He is doing very good. I'm very happy. And I, did, I don't know if I mentioned it. His name now is Roscoe. We have changed it to Roscoe. He used to be Gumbo. I was like, eh. Rumi wasn't too happy with Gumbo, so we just stuck with Roscoe. Ah, <sighs> the hell am I doing again? Trap finders. What the hell is that? He does not. Um... He has barked at me once, probably because I'm small and blue, but um, he uh, he's only barked once. He loves to play. He destroys toys. Oh, my God. He's a chewer. He's a big chewer. But, uh, yeah, no screaming. Um, he's a He is a German shepherd through and through. So that bark, that bark is something, but, uh, but no screaming, fortunately. The uh, the husky mix that we were looking to pick up. Uh, oh God, I don't think I've streamed since then. Uh, yeah, there was a husky mix that we were looking into. Um, we were excited. We're just like, all right, finally, we're just let's do it. Went out there, brought my saddle for fitting and everything. Walked into the event where he was, and the people in front of us were adopting him. It was just the worst um so yeah uh we didn't get everest but he did go to a home um he went to a nice home um a couple of young people so it's like all right cool i guess he, he's going to a nice home uh it was still a very sad drive home and then um we saw gumbo who is now roscoe uh we saw him and it was like you know what let's check him out and he was he was being fostered so um so yeah, he uh, he had a foster mom, and we met foster mom and her daughter, and they had taken excellent care of him. He was in the best shape I'd ever seen. He was very timid, which was okay, um, but we just we we're just like we we love this dog. We 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 spent maybe an hour and a half with him, and we're just like, holy crap, we love this dog. And uh, lo and behold, we took him home that day. So he's been with here at uh, yeah, he's been with us here at Baby and Zeb HQ since Saturday. I'm enjoying potion. Tasty, tasty, tasty potion. What is over? What's happening in Canada, Black Fox? Tell me something good. Tell me something positive that's happening in Canada. Ready, go. One, two, three, go. Ready, go. Now. Now. 
ready to go. Now, tell me. Some good about Canada. I need anything good about Canada. The maple leaf harvest, it, whatever, whatever's happening. Whatever's good in Canada. Hit me. What you got? Waiting on Black Fox. Waiting on Black Fox for that good, good Canada news. Yeah, give me something positive. This is a positive stream. We're all happy today. Doing a good job being happy. Gotta be positive, alright? Boop. You got me feeling like Katya here, like, <laughs> There we go. Yes! Oh, man. I love warm February. Ever since I've moved down south, I have quite injured. We still get snow, and we still get ice. But, uh, oh, man. It is, it was almost, I think it was 50 Fahrenheit today sun was out. Mm. Beautiful. Of course, I spent the entire day inside, inside working, but you know. Now that I am no longer in the office, I will cobalt as best I can. Take heed, gentle listener. Well, I mean, come on. Nighttime is the right time for being inside and playing video games. You know that. You know that as surely as I know that Virginia is for lovers. <laughs> I'm on the wrong layer. Guess what, guys? Get that bingo card running. Because uh, I was on the wrong layer. The roads and sidewalks are all ice. Well, all the more reason, as I said, stay inside and play video games. I am currently playing one, Black Fox, that I think you would enjoy to an extent. If you are a fan of RPGs. If not, then perhaps you wouldn't. But. Oh, excuse me. This is a burpy potion. Don't. Don't do the thing. Okay, you didn't do the thing. Good. Uh, but yes, I am playing a game that I think you would like. It's called Of Blades and Tales. It is a top-down. I would say almost action RPG. It's very simple. It's not a super graphically intensive game, but it features an entire race of fox people. So I figured you and Gray would be into that. Hell, I'm into that. I think it's cool. Oh, Sophia, drop snap, donk, my bot friends. <sighs> but yeah, of blades and tails. It is a very, it's a cute looking game. It has a lot of depth to its combat. Um, I obviously am playing a uh, magic user, um, which is not something you just have to pick. You you can just build your character as you go. Um, but uh, yeah, playing a magic user, having a blast. They really focus on making the magic feel fun and feel useful. Um, I think my favorite thing right now is to um, summon a pillar of ice that freezes everything around it and then dash through the enemy, leaving fire in my wake. So when they chase me, they burn more. It is fun. And I think it's kind of cheap, too. It's kind of like a lesser known game, but super fun. I've been enjoying it a lot. Thought of playing it on stream one point. Since the, uh, the pupper has come, though, we have a lot less time. I actually will not be streaming tremendously long tonight because I am exhausted. Exhausted, I say. Uh, yeah, it's the first one. Of Blade and Tails. Like, like, Fox Tails. Yeah, I won't be going super long tonight. Um, unless I'm convinced otherwise. Um. Or I'm just really socking away the pages. Hey, Jimbo! Welcome to the stream! 
Nice to see ya. Comic hype. Yes, we are working on a page of Trap Finders. Our webcomic. Welcome, welcome. Always welcome to say hi. How's your day going today, Jimbo? Everything is pretty cool here. Oh, good deal. Very cool. I've uh, I've been very uh, interested in illustrated stories. So that's that's awesome. I'm glad that you're doing that. Had a long nap. Oh, God, I need one of those. Oh, I could use a long nap. If this potion has anything to say about it, I probably will. Well, that's excellent. That sounds like a good time to me. I would take a long nap and some illustrations any day. Are you illustrating stories that you do yourself, or are you illustrating stories uh, for other people? Both equally interesting. You're going to put them on Kindle since Patreon didn't work out after two years. Ah, gotcha. Yeah, no, um, I think Kindle's a good, a good way to go, honestly. Um, Patreon, I, I don't think there's anything wrong with Patreon, but it's, uh, it's kind of hit or miss. Unless you have an enormous following. I do not, so. <laughs> but. Yeah, well, I hope that goes well for you. Um, that sounds like a lot of fun, though. Is that something that you just decided to get into, or is it something you've been wanting to do for a while? You have a big created universe about shape-shifting monster girl trying to date regular humans. Change it to trying to date Cobalt, and I would absolutely 100% sign on to that. I would, I would subscribe. I would like, comment, and dare I say it, subscribe. Sounds awesome, though. What's its name? There we go. Nope. Anyone cares? This is Johnny's theme from Chrono Trigger by the Blake Robinson Electric Orchestra. It is also essentially the Fabian Zib theme. <laughs> I don't have an inflated sense of self-worth. No, 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 no. Oops. Well, if you're not doing comics for a little while and you're doing illustrated stories, then uh, I would love to see what you come up with. It sounds like a lot of fun. Oh, no. You stopped in 2020 with Patreon after getting a lot of nasty DMs that were begging and gaslighting people. Oh, I hate that. I really hate that for you. I'm so sorry that happened. That's lousy. That really... Any creator that deals with that crap, I... Mm, no, that just, that's not cool. It's a hub. You should do it for free. Oh, man. People like that. People like that are the ones who are looking for uh, commissions that are uh, essentially free. You know. Dealt with some of those. I've been very hesitant to get back into uh, commissions because of it. But I think, uh, I think moving on to Kindle is a great idea. Amazon has a much better um, reach. Um... And I mean, if you don't if you don't subscribe to doing everything that they want you to, you can still um, find a bunch of, of good readers. 
It's something I have considered in the past. I just have a hard enough time keeping a uh, <laughs> keeping a comic up and alive. Oh, you were doing free content too. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, Trap Finders is 100% free. And it has been since, gosh. I can't even remember. I think 2011. Yeah, we've been running since about 2011. is right and since 2011 this is also the Fabian Zip theme <laughs> I do not have an inflated sense of self-worth absolutely not Yes, Black Fox's uh, claim to fame is saving the comic on a couple of occasions. He has been a stalwart friend of the comic for many, many days. Since he was a wee babe. Yes, I know memory usage. He used to do 24 pages a month, plus free stuff. People just lurked and took the free stuff and begged in the DMs. Uh, yeah. Yeah, you're going to run into that. Um, it's like I said, I, I've had a... I've had to cut down on commissions because of people like that. And uh, I have not really stepped back into it, although it's a, it's a thought. And that sucks. I'm sorry that happened. That's, uh, that's not a cool thing. I prefer cool things in this, uh, in this stream, so... I hope the next things that you encounter are cool. Ah, build up a backlog. Good call. It's kind of what I'm doing. Um, my comic releases twice monthly, basically uh, every two weeks. So I only have about 50 or 25 pages um, starting last year, but 25 pages a year. I'm working on building up a backlog that is big enough that I can start releasing once a week. Um, so, yeah, I hear you. Do, do, do. I get you. Not doing commissions. Not about the money. All good. No gray. Yeah, you might be EP. What? Is that the fluttering of ebony wings I hear? It could only be Corvus Blackwood. Hey, Corvus. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> Fine evening to you, Corvus. Welcome to the stream again, as always. We are working on some more trap finders. And generally just being great background noise for pets. Uh elderly parents that are uh, that are stuck at home uh, really just you know that's where we're at
Oh, wow. You drew, you drew 10 different comics. All 24 pages, and you wrote 14 different stories. That's incredible. Holy cow. And here I am just working on one. <laughs> oh, I do have ideas. <laughs> What's uh, What genre? Or do you do a lot of different genres? Oh, 10,000 word novellas. You sound like you would be incredible at uh, um, NaNoWriMo. That sounds like it would be right up your alley. You know what? I think I picked the wrong music again. I think I just picked Chrono Trigger. <laughs> I really need to rename these. <laughs> oh, man. It's been that kind of a day. How's your day been, Corvus? Mine was brutal. It took for frickin' ever. Ah, yeah. Typical Mondays. Boo. I was told by my father when I was a wee hatchling that Tiamat actually tried to stop the invention of Monday. It's true. Bahamut apparently really wanted Mondays. Uh, definitely not making any friends in the Cobalt Society with that. But Tiamat tried, but, you know, politics. On record is the only thing that Tiamat ever failed at. Yeah, I gotta agree, Black Box. I really wasn't too into Destiny 2. Um, no, I did not play Destiny. Actually, I played the original Destiny. Played it for a bit. Uh, I liked it until they got rid of... Um, uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. What's his butt? Tyrion. Um, Peter Dinklage. Peter Dinklage. Liked it until they got rid of him. Um, I, love me, I love me some Nolan North. I'd love to meet the man. Uh, but... Uh, yeah, Peter Dinklage, he's just got a different, a very different uh, vocal quality. I swear to God, there is more than just Chrono Trigger music in here. There we go. God. I mean, you guys know, I love me some Chrono Trigger, but holy crap. Give me a tiny respite. What happened here? Why is there a blob of red here? I did not authorize this. Black Fox, did you do that? I bet you did. I bet it was Black Fox. He's always getting into my files, wrecking my drones. Could be Jimbo, too. Might be jealous of all, all this art. <laughs> Yes, Danger Kitty has the baking eyes. Girl needs a haircut. I mean, come on. You'd get desperate too. Like a big shaggy red mane on your on your shoulders. Come on. It's like the perfect music for it too. <laughs> Just cleaning up some of this gunk that showed up here. Bleh. What is going on with my drawing? What is happening with my comic page? I believe it to be some form of witchcraft. Or possibly sabotage. Nope. Yeah, isn't this the, the slow... The slow zoom? Oh, I ran out of music. <laughs> I was going to say, it's almost like the uh, Sarah McLaughlin... Arms of the Angel. God, 
God, they get me with that every frickin' year. Corvus, if you missed it, uh, the new doggo is doing wonderfully and uh, just is is having a great time. He has not had uh, an oopsie, so happy about that. That's good. Yeah, you don't compare yourself to other artists or care that they have bigger followings. That's good. That is something I kind of had to... I don't know, I had to I had to force myself to believe, and I, I still have a hard time with it sometimes, but it is true. It is very true. It's just hard to... Just hard to, to take sometimes. Yeah. I think at the end of the day, we all we all want somebody to know who we are. And uh, I think it's hard when, when you feel obscure sometimes. But no, definitely good on you. Good on you for... Fighting the good fight. You know, I, th this these lines are just... They're just going to be lines today. So these are... Mm, wow. I keep finding... Little biddly bits and piecey pieces of line that should not be... And I'm wondering what the hell I'm doing. Which is, in general, a great question for me to ask because I typically do not know what I'm doing. Woo! <laughs> the microphone, it explode. All right. Oh. Dee -dee -dee. Oopsie poopsie. I have forgotten to do the thing. Reference layers have been a big help lately. Hey Jimbo, do you use um do you use Clip Studio? Do you what what software do you use uh, for working on your illustrations? Yeah, no kidding, no kidding. Someone's in your DMs ragging on you. I, I mm, no, absolutely draw the line there. And I found, you know, it's interesting because like I've seen a lot of people get very, rightfully so, very indignant about stuff people throw at them or things they say and everything. And um, I gotta say, a lot of these things, a lot of these people, ignore them. Just ignore them. It will annoy them so much more if you just ignore them. You're probably familiar with this tactic already. Yeah, I found it's just like, wow, do not engage and your life becomes much easier. And sometimes it's not easy, but yeah. Oh, use Medibang, cool. Very cool. I just kind of fell into Clip Studio and really ended up liking what it did for uh, for comics for me. So, but yeah, Metabang that's uh, definitely one of the ones that was on my list to try out. All right, let's see. I think I can toss some more background. Is that wine green? Maybe. Maybe it's green apple wine. You don't know. You don't drink black box. I don't know if you're old enough. Not in the woods. Oh no, I've messed up my own perspective.
sides. You get like a white zin and it's kind of like a yellowish green. You're fine. Well, I mean, alcohol burns, doesn't it? There you go. Yeah. Maybe you better go back to chemistry school back in, in old Canada. You go back to chemistry school and you, you do some learning. Man, it's a fantasy world. I can do what I want. <laughs> Lousy good for nothing people walking in here and just telling me I can't have green wine. Green wine, if I goddamn well please. <laughs> That's right, you L your L. <sighs> One of these days. One of these days, Black Fox. I'm gonna come up with a barb so vicious that you're just gonna be like, <gasps> and you're gonna be disappear into a cloud of maple leaves. Like a ninja, but more apologetic. Sorry. Oh, come on, man. Seppuku is not kidney targeting. Uh, that's just... I mean, come on, man. That's not efficient. That's not an efficient and honorable way to die. Thou art a silly person. I judge thee to be 100% silly. This delightful song. Oh yeah, Tanaka's Shady Commodities from Persona 5. Who saw the uh Persona 3 reloaded trailer? I am so excited for that. I'm so happy it's out. Anything to bring uh, a little bit more of the style of Persona 5. It's free on Xbox Game Pass. Dang. What isn't free on Xbox Game Pass nowadays? Man, here. It's just getting me. Oh man. 
I'm gonna comment it out every time. Every time I hear this song. Such an awesome boss fight. Oh, dang. Yeah. Back the wrong horse with Persona, or with uh, Sony, I guess. jump from March 11th to March 25th. Excuse me. There we go. Da, 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 da. Oh, have I already... Yes, I've already paneled this out. I was just like, wait a minute, did I actually do panels? There we go. It's there. Yeah, let's hit our little dude over here. Oh, oh no. Oh, zip. You silly person. Okay. Here's what we'll do. We're going to convert you. Okay. And now, get rid of this old vector layer that I completely did not use. Oh, man. Excuse me. No. There we go. Okay. Now we're from Slayer. Nice. There we go. Yes. This set is right. Okay. And now. Whoop, there we are. That's better. Oh, I. I mean, Black Box, come on. It's not a stream if I haven't made one big oops. I refuse to learn from my mistakes. That could actually lead to growth and uh, and change, and I uh, I refuse to be a part of that. <laughs> nah, I just, just managed to forget what I was doing. All good. <sighs> Not potion, stay in my mouth. There we go. Alrighty. If there's no big oops and we know slime zip has taken over the stream yes this is true this is true i i make these mistakes for you guys just so you know it's me it's our secret language my complete my complete inability to not biff Somebody made a, um, God, somebody made a, uh, like a 10 hour version of this song to rain. Cause this is also the, yeah, this is the rain song, uh, from, uh, Persona 5. Oh man. It is just so chill. It's, it's so nice. Oh, in case anybody was wondering, Yu Yu Hakusho still slaps. Still a great anime. Love it. Probably the only English dub of an anime that I think is superior. Although I'm... 
That is an egg. <laughs> Gotta love when my pen changes absolutely randomly. Big fan of that. Oh yeah, Jimbo, that's that's probably the best way of looking back at it, that instead of mistakes, looking back and saying what you could have done better or a different way. That is, I mean, that's my primary means of growth with this comic. If you look back at the original pages that I did, the first few pages, I did them in Flash, because uh, it was the only program I knew that could do vectors at the time. Um, and uh, they were all in black and white because I thought, oh, that'll make things easier, and it didn't. Um, so yeah, it's, it is it is all about what you learn and what you can do better. It's definitely a, uh, a great way of looking at it. first. Yep, I must have done it entirely on this page. Or at least I did it for most of this page. Oh, Zib, you silly misguided slut. Alright, let's convert that to a vector. Oh yeah, that's right! That was one of the traps that was introduced was, uh, it was Hono's Maximized Color Spray. <laughs> and it colored the world. That was one of the only ways that I could get the uh, transition to color uh, done in, in universe. It was fun, though. <laughs> I still... I, actually, I remember that page because I was drawing it, and I saw, you know, you know Kisuke heroically pushes Hiroko down, you know, like, get down! And she's like, ow, pushing's mean! <laughs> it's like, ah, Hiroko, honey. And he's like, sorry! <laughs> oh, yeah, I do like the color trap. Good times, good times. Isn't this great? Living in Japan, reminiscing about the comic that I drew. <laughs> Everything except the living in Japan part. For anyone who's concerned or is tired of this song already, this is not the 10-hour version, I promise. Oh, Zeb, you whore. Miss Golden Week from One Piece, who had color powers that could control moods. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, yeah, the, the song is really good in-game because it plays when you're running around Shibuya in the rain. Uh, it's just, uh, you have an umbrella and a cat. Honestly, that's, I mean, I would retire that way. Japan, rain, cat, umbrella, done. What do you mean it costs money? No. Oh. Hell with that. Mavos. Mavos, man. Super scary. And the big bug that eats all of the planet's electricity. Keys, buddy. What did I do to you? I appear to have made your collar stupid. 
Unfortunately, the shirt is going away. Oh, hell yeah, they got some wind over there. I need to wear, like, really big plaits, like, big weighted down plaits. And still, I would not be the strangest thing in Akihabara. Maybe Kyoto, but... Da -da -da. Oop. Da -da -do. It sounds this sounds like a dirge from an opera. It doesn't help that there's the, you know, the actual singing in there. zero for perspective today. It's really quite concerning. It's okay, Zip. It's not so bad. It's only slightly terrible. But it's not bad. It's only somewhat terrible. It's only somewhat terrible. <laughs> uh, I really got to stop making the soundtrack to my life <laughs> as accurate as it is. That's not the line tool. That's the paint bucket tool. I don't need that. I need that. There we go. Layer, I wonder. It's like I, I really do love this scene because I think uh, I think May is such a relatable character. At the same time, it's like I don't know how we can make fireflies make you look like less of an asshole. You know, it's like you're a good person sometimes, but you're also kind of an asshole. I don't know. Maybe it's a metaphor for life. I have no idea. <laughs> you're a good person, but you're also kind of an asshole. I don't know why I glanced at chat and I thought Black Fox said suddenly a gust of wind and Zib's on fire. <laughs> I was like, oh, that's rude. <laughs> I think it is, anyway. Regresses. Sukosi. Welcome to the stream. If you're a bot, you're a very quiet one. And if you're not a bot, you're a quiet person. And that's okay. I can appreciate that. There we go. 
destroy this stuff. There we go. I'm a good person. You say that, but do you really believe it? I mean, yeah, that's that's the question, isn't it? Jimbo has it. Has the right of it. I never say I'm a good person. Makes it a lot easier at Christmas time because everyone's like, "Ah, oh, Zeb, he's an asshole. He won't give me anything." And then when I do, they're just like, oh, "It's a miracle." I'll just be like, "Uh huh, uh huh." Look who's putting Tiamat back in Tiamat, miss. Uh-huh. Little baby Tiamat in the manger. Yeah. Got all the decorations out. Why did you do that? Why did it do that? Why is that a thing? Nee, 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 nee. Do, 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 do. darker. Oh my goodness. Brush size. You can stay where I want you. Thank you. That is not the color I want. Why is it? Hmm. Less of what I want, more of what I don't want. Hmm. Is it painting anywhere outside my selection? No. Interesting, interesting. Just thought I'd have a cute, fun way to do drapes, but it looks like I can't even do that right. Goodness. All right, let's back up here. Back up. Stop all the selecting. Stop all the selecting. People tend to get upset when you judge them by their actions rather than what they say. Yeah, no, this is true. That's true. Do as I say, not as I do. That whole, that whole bit. Absolutely. be triadically skewed. That's the most intelligent thing I've heard today. And I I I cannot disagree. Dragging everything. Said no cobalt ever. This ruler tool needs to F off. I have worked with that ruler tool for ages. Yeah, 
actually, to be fair, that is very true. You do learn a lot by by writing characters. Some of my most productive, uh, bleh, some of my most productive days are when I'm actually just writing scripting for the for the comic. It is a very enjoyable part. It's also something I should do first because uh, typically I write way too much and then have to spend an enormous amount of time going back and uh, revising what I've written to fit the confines of the page. If that makes sense. It doesn't. Teacup bunny with a gun committing crimes. You okay, Black Fox? Everything going okay over there? You, uh... You hitting the maple syrup tonight? You okay? Oh, man. Just, uh, just, just we were, we, we were, we worry. All right. This is, this is an intervention stream. There we go. How about, how about, here's, okay, yes, please save. How about we don't do the thing I did? There we go. And instead, do a thing that a smart person would do. A shock. Okay, okay. So this is the one. Hey, Greg, good to see you. Um, um, no, the uh, I will say out of all of the out of all the tracks in Persona Five, this one annoyed the hell out of me. And the only reason is because that level, uh, Mementos, was just it was just figure out what you need to do the game and it was frustrating because you know you'd finish a cool battle you'd get some XP maybe even a new persona and then yeah you just end up listening to this stoner jive I don't even mind stoner jives why are we still listening it to you ask well you know thought of that myself. I think the main reason is because I'm way too busy to reach over and hit the skip button. And it looks like I have just given myself the opportunity to do that. A doot. There we go. Okay. Dear lines in the door. How are you? I am fine. I would like you to not suck so much. Your friend and boss, Fabian Zip. P.S. Please stop sucking so bad. What is up, my gray friend? Good to have you on the stream. Good to have you anytime. Hopefully you had a fine Monday. Seems like everyone's doing a pretty okay this Monday. At the very least, we're making it. toolbar can really fuck off and I would not mind honest to god <laughs> ah great your typo got auto modded <laughs> allowing it <laughs> oh man things thing goes well things go well they hoe well <laughs> I am I'm hoeing well <laughs> clearly I'm not hoeing enough 
I'm not making any more of this count. <laughs> oh, man. Ah, no, it's a, it's a rite of passage now. I mean, hell, like, uh, have you seen all of Black Box's posts? <laughs> Yeah, for once it was Black Box, actually. Or Sage. Who basically comes in just to test my auto mod. <laughs> I have not seen Sage in a bit. I miss Sage. Sage is a funny person. A funny little raccoon. La la la. Boom. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> I guess Jimbo is part of the uh, testing the auto mod. <laughs> I see nothing wrong with this sentence. This makes perfect sense, both in syntax and in context. <laughs> uh, I shouldn't have said anything. <laughs> That is my that is my lot, however. That is exactly how things go. <laughs> and of course, Jimbo, congratulations on having a thick hoe in your garden. Absolutely gotta have them thick tools. Gotta have that Milwaukee drill that's been handed down from your family for the last three generations. Oh, you guys are silly. Silly, I say. No, I will not censor myself. You're silly. Silly as the day is long. And that's pretty long, sirs. Oh, that's a bit much, but I will use it. Okay, yeah, we will put a food bar. It's true, yeah. Uh, if you would be accidentally banned three or four times, you would get the full experience of the of the zip stream. We like to call that the black fox experience. <laughs> I swear to God, it's it's because of the the way that I have the controls set up. I I click over to look and see. Oh, has anyone joined the chat? Is anyone everyone doing okay? And then when I click back over, it is right above the ban uh, the ban button. And sometimes I double click, man. Sometimes Cobalt's just got to double click. Don't go don't go judging me on my my clicking. My click is huge. <laughs> I have not slept well <laughs> with the new dog. Oh, man. He is a riot, though. He's a real sweetie. Mm. Mm. Sorry. I'm trying to yawn in your face. Totally did anyway. Not really sorry. Gotta respect a man with a big ass click. <laughs> <laughs> Look, guys, guys, it's not all about click size. <laughs> it's how they're used. It's how they're they're SEO used. <laughs> this conversation got strange, but I love it. I'm here for it. Talk about click sizes. <laughs> oh 
Oh, God. You know, and I was even thinking, you know, I'm really tired. Maybe I shouldn't stream tonight. That would have been the absolute wrong thing to do, and I'm glad I'm here. Thank you for being here, guys. This has been nice so far. It can still go downhill from here. <laughs> I get banned by other streamers. I assume I was cool with it's their channel if they want to ban me. Oh, man. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what my my... My, my thing on, ban on banning people is if you're just there to be an ass or you're just like really not, you know, contributing in a positive way, um, then it's like, I mean, just, you know, find something else, you know. I got enough cool people in here that I don't want annoyed by bots and spammers and crap. <laughs> Blue's here. I thought thongs. I thought thongs. Ah, <laughs> uh, that is beer number two. So <laughs> I thought things got a little more cerulean in here. Welcome, Blue. You and all other shades of colors are welcome in this stream at all times and in all places. I like to think that artists sometimes watch this stream as like a uh, an example of what not to do. Do you see what Zib's doing here? Don't ever do it. Why is that? It will ruin what you're doing. Oh, that's fair. Blue, you better say hi, or I'm going to start singing Eiffel 65. It's going to happen, and you're not going to like it. Oh, man. It's not even going to be the song Blue. It's going to be like the PlayStation song they did in 1999. AFK? Well, I mean... How long is she going to be attacking Fort Knox? That's a pretty bold thing to do. Gonna say. Nobody talks about Fort Knox anymore. You know? It's like, it used to be a real staple of the, uh, of the cartoon world. Like, that place is tighter than Fort Knox. And now it's like, what do we have? I mean, did Fort Knox get compromised? Was there a, was there a, like a schism? Did somebody actually bust into Fort Knox? That's, I, you know, these are the questions I've got to ask because uh, no one's going to answer them for me. Why is, am I, am I, wow, okay, so I picked the absolute wrong tool. Uh, anybody who told you that the, uh, anybody who told you that the uh, iPad has palm rejection is a liar. So my palm has been selecting crap all night. Yeah, they did a PlayStation song. Look it up. We're talking like PlayStation 1. Ridge Racer Art World. Oh, man, yeah. They like, they just go, like, I don't know if it was a pitch song. Like, they were like, hey, PlayStation, we can do a song. And, and PlayStation was just like, oh, this is terrible. <laughs> don't do this. But yeah, it, it like just calls out a bunch of like classic PlayStation games. Omega Boost. God. Look at Omega Boost and then look at uh uh what is it? Armored Core 6. Like that's that's man, that is the that is where we've come from. That is where we've come from. Can you please? Just this once. Can you please select the color? See, that's what I'm looking for. But I keep getting everything else. So now, Zib's going to go on a little fun tour here. Actually, I could use the selection pad. That would be better. And minus.
Okay, now I understand how it's working. How could that have happened? I didn't ban you, so I mean that that that's a positive thing, right? <laughs> Let me bring that down a little bit. Can't believe Blue's already fighting Kafka. I mean, man, that's such a cool fight. Why would she why would she keep that from us? God, remember when Final Fantasy made sense? I'm not even talking about 14. Like 14 is fine. Like some of the some of the more recent Final Fantasies, it's like, what are you trying to do? Like, can you like Dear Squeenix? Open letter to Squeenix. What the hell? Love Fabian Zip. P.S. For really though. I did see it was a it was a thread just recently about um, games that people give a, a bad rap to, but are actually pretty good. And someone put up Final Fantasy XIII, and I gotta say, if you want a hallway simulator, that game is fantastic, but it is not a good Final Fantasy game. Yes, Final Fantasy used to make sense. The first one did. <laughs> the first Final Fantasy made perfect sense. Hi, you're a bunch of warriors, and I need you to go get these crystals and stop the world from ending. Got it. Done. Perfect. Great. And then there's a time loop, and and, and it, it's, it's confusing, but it's still better. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I mean, the original Final Fantasy had such bangers as, I, Garland, will knock you all! down like oh god garland help <laughs> garland honey first off let's work on that name garland first name judy <laughs> hills are not alive with song of music that Yeah, and that those are unfortunate places. That is that is a bad thing. I'm gonna go ahead and gonna go ahead and use the unpopular, the very unpopular uh, stance of random gunfire. Not great. Not not a great one. Ah, look, black box. It killed the music. Have I seen the video edit of what? Uh, I don't. I don't think I understand. Did somebody cut "The Hills Are Alive"? Uh, or did somebody cut uh, "The Sound of Music"? Judy Garland's uh, opening piece with, with gunfire.
And now, typos with black box. Oh, okay, too. I get you. All right. Fair. That would get a sensible uh, exhaling through the nose chuckle from me. That haircut, it's coming. It's super coming. All right. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Yes, back to the cowlick. Calic, of course, is a much easier hairstyle to draw from most angles. actually have to find a reference for his old fur color that was like brown my defense to that is I was I was new to your realm and uh, did not quite know colors your colors are strange here What are you talking about? This is a raccoon who conditions, man. That hair is 100% just a fantastic experience. Not gonna lie, this plays in my head whenever I'm talking to somebody I don't like. bit of a sniff.
Brown for a Kisuke is a throwback, man. It's been a while. Sent some videos to the Discord. Ah, a bannable offense. Enjoy your break, Jimbo. Oh, yeah, for real? Yeah. Backgrounds suck. <laughs> Backgrounds are, are my bane. It's something I'm working on, but God, they take forever. And I need to figure out how to not make them take forever. Kisuke dies fur background. Oh, man, come on. He's just so, he's so gray and raccoon-like now. <laughs> Why would I take that away from him? <laughs> else could be dying there for I wonder whoops that is pink
I still think this is like the most hopeful I have ever seen Kisuke's face. This is okay. Filled with joy, only to be dashed. Can't dash his hopes that many times. He's one of the only characters that's having a good day. <laughs> yes, yes. Rest it up very much. Ooh wee. How's your night going, Gray? I think it's your weekend, I think. I think I can say I think a little bit more than that. Oh man. Out of potion? Ugh. Absolutely, absolutely astonishing. How I'm able to keep going. No idea how I'm in. So you guys know. Um, chilling, playing fine, fine. Wow, that potion was better than I thought. Uh, chilling and playing Final Fantasy fourteen. How dare you, sir? Rude. Nah, it's great. Hopefully you and Blue are queuing for Molten Core and getting all the fat purple drops. You know those purple drops. Woo wee got to collect a lot of them to make purple brew. It's been a while since I played an MMO. <laughs> 14 does look like a lot of fun, actually. Sage plays. Uh, and uh, She has mentioned how interesting it is. My microphone arm is trying uh, to go into space. I won't let it. Ha <laughs> ha! That's right. You serve me, microphone arm. Oh, man. Well, I'm glad you are chilling and playing Final Fantasy XIV. <sighs> boy, oh boy, oh boy. It's been a long couple of days. Oh, man. It did get louder because I moved the microphone. I uh, I was, unfortunately, um, speaking into not the correct side. Which happens because this thing seems to rotate random times of the day. It just kind of decides to rotate. And you'd think, but Zip, why don't you tighten the, uh, the nuts and bolts that keep things from, from moving? There is nothing that keeps this thing from moving. It just kind of stays there. And then it doesn't can see my conundrum. Ah, Path of Exile. I've seen seen that game. I know how that works, you rogue. Maverick Renegade.
still like a stone unless touched. And then, God help you. You might find it. Whoops. Whoops. Bunch of whoops. Bunch of whoops. Fortunately, just more and more proof that Slime Zib is not running this one. Come on. You ever hit okay on something like 16 times? You're just like, I said okay. Oh my goodness, black box. That is so rude. You've been auto modded, sir. Oh, rude. And you know what? I agree with the auto mod. Bullying. That's a very bullying statement. How dare you? Foff to you too, sir. Foff to you. <laughs> I'm pretty pleased with how much gotten done here. This is actually not bad, considering I've, I've been a little slow. Uh, a little slow at getting stuff this week, so... You guys see what I deal with here with Black Fox? Look at that. Ah, huh. rude. How dare he tell me to foff? Just the meanest. Just the meanest kid. Ah, super mean. Mean as the day is long. Sniffle, and now I have a full blown runny, runny nose. It is likely due to the intrinsic uh, superiority of my draconic genes. You just can't. You can't beat them. Just can't. My, my genes have to, or my, my body, I should say, has to uh, constantly make everyone else feel better by pretending to get illnesses. It's a heavy burden, but you know, when you're just so draconic, it hurts. And it does hurt, ladies. 
Oh, I just realized you can add ladies to any sentence and make it irredeemably worse. <laughs> I would go ahead and assume Gray would agree with that. Or Blue would, anyway. No, my kid in gray would probably agree with it, too. I will say, Black Box, like I mentioned on uh, on the Discord, I am probably going to make this one a shorter uh, a shorter stream tonight, uh, so I may not get to the suggestions. Uh, my apologies on that. Uh, kind of hoping I can get this scheduled out better. Just uh, it has been a lot of work with uh, the new dog and and everything else going on. Uh, unfortunately, it also looks like our cat is uh, is not doing very well. Um, so. Yeah, it's, it's, there's been a lot going on. So, I apologize. I know people like it. I know people have fun with it. So, uh, we will do it again at some point. But Yeah, she's not feeling very good. And she's, unfortunately, you know, she's 18 years old. Almost 19 now. We're just, we're watching her. We're hoping that she'll, when she does go, we hope it's, uh, hope it's peaceful. Yeah, so we're dealing with a lot. Streaming does help. Streaming does help a lot. I am very close to being exhausted. <laughs> Man, I got some yutzes coming to the house to... to... to uh, look at fixing up my fence. Gonna need a fixed up fence if I got a new poochie. New rambunctious pooch. <laughs> oh yeah. Unfortunately real life once again crams its way into everything I try to do. Great, actually. Um, for being on day three, he's doing really, really good. Um, very, very pleased. The foster that took care of him did an amazing job. Like, he isn't, you know, he isn't done. He isn't, like, fully cooked, ready to go. He uh, he is definitely, though, learning um, and picking things up fast. Just a, a super impressive and really sweet couple concerns but we're, we're hoping they just kind of iron out with time um, he's got a little bit of a digestion problem right now but that's 
He just came from a shelter and a, and a foster situation. He's got a lot going on, so. Uh, but yeah, otherwise, he's he is really fitting in. He's a snuggler. Oh my god. It, it, it is one of my favorite things. He's just a, a peanut and a half. Fortunately, he's been very receptive to all the commands we've taught him, and, and he's he's getting there. And like I said, my saddle will eventually fit him, so it'll be it'll be great. Oops. How dare you not color the color I wanted? Shadoop. You miss riding? I uh, I miss riding uh, mountain bikes. It's a little too cold for it right now. Do you ride horses? Good old horse kids. I have not ridden, but I have helped take care of some horses. Pick stalls and feed them and stuff. Horses are big. had babies a few times the stallion was mental they are mental uh i'm fortunate that the only males i've dealt with were geldings but good god uh stallion is nothing to mess with who we maybe if i did the thing i was supposed to do this would work there we go Come here. advice that I was given when I was working with horses was see that stallion? Don't go near it. <laughs> like, oh, okay. For I am tiny and I am made of crunchable things. Oh, he escaped because he wanted the apple tree. That tracks, actually. Horses do like to do that kind of crap. I have seen some beautiful horses. I've seen some admittedly very stupid horses. It's one of those things where uh, when you um, when you first hear about horses when you're young, it's like, oh, wow, they're such, 
such majestic and beautiful, graceful creatures. And they super are until you meet one. And then it's like, oh, you're a horse. Mm. <laughs> hey, uh, supervisor, horse escaped. That's not too much of a problem. He can't impregnate the tree. And if he does, we will have, uh, we'll have words. Oh, goodness gracious. I've got to slap the mic every couple of seconds. might be thinking of Clydesdales. They have big, huge, dinner plate sized feet, and uh, they have feathering around their hooves. Clydesdales are very impressive horses, but good god, they're powerful. Look out. Pretty sure this is the thumbnail. <laughs> this little guy just like me. <laughs> I'm so full of hope and wonder. You beat the guys. You won the thing. You're really good. At killing the enemies and taking all of their stuff. That's my that's my little song. Yeah, Clydesdales not for riding, um, not really. Um, some quarter horses probably not, uh, depending on if they're more of a workhorse. Um, Oh, yeah, man. An animal always come back to free food and lodging. <laughs> so, wait. You're telling me that uh, I get to live here and hang out until uh, till breeding season. That's right. At which point, you allow me to leave and uh, just go hog wild on the ladies. Is that correct as well? Uh, yes, I believe our records will show that that is correct. Sweet. <laughs> I don't know if anyone could pass up a deal like that, to be perfectly fair. Oh, shit. Yeah. Do not. Yeah. Obviously, if you can avoid it. Do not get bitten by a horse. Um, they are unaware of how huge they are. Them Tifers. Them Tifers is big and crushy. Well, there you go. You have a you have a moose working hard. He's 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 got a job. He has a future. He's a local celebrity. I mean, of course he's going to score. Good grief. He, he might as well have been playing football in high school. You know? No, Zib did not play football in high school. 
we had Death Ball, and I just, just was not into Death Ball. Yeah, they can they can definitely they can bite uh, very forcefully, and they can get around limbs pretty easily. So. I was not the ball in Death Ball. Chet was the ball in Death Ball. Lousy Chet. feeling pretty good about how this is turning out. This it's actually is turning out a lot better than I'd hoped, and uh, I still have to get that other page done. Uh, I've just been dragging my feet on it. It's just been so, so meh. I don't that the uh, this one. Um, yeah, this one. Um, just dragging my feet on that one. Really need to get that one done. Mainly because that one comes up earlier in the story. <laughs> complete these pages Zib. how do you how do you do this i just draw them as they come into my brain head <laughs> yes uh man i should make sure to save everything here because uh i know me and i don't save as often as everybody should gradient Very cool. Yeah, getting progress done on these is definitely useful because then I can work on my secret Valentine's Day picture. <laughs> I've been having fun with that. I, that one has been a lot of work, uh, to be fair. But it's fun. It, it is It is good time. You have a ton of thumbnails and character ref sheets to pull from. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, with with how much you've been drawing, it's like holy cow, you've got tons of uh, of material to use. And Hiroko, mm, I don't alone. I don't know. Maybe she's not alone. She's totally alone. What was I looking for? That's what I was looking for. <laughs> Dangly. Oh, okay. I always misunderstand this tool. <laughs> you know me, Black Fox. I can't leave her alone. She'll... She'll... We'll find somebody. Mm 
Oh, did that layer... That layer has the wrong... It has the wrong, uh... Color for the, uh... The hoodly do. The, uh... The, what should I call it? Frame. <laughs> oh. No, it doesn't. I am just a silly nitty. I think I'm silly. I... Hmm. Weird. <laughs> Besides Black Fox, that's not the real Valentine's Day picture. That's the, uh... The one I put up in the Discord was a sketch that I abandoned once I found the true picture that I'll be doing. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Well, guess what? I am ready to hit the sock drawer and uh, pass out for a few hours. Oh, my gosh. Sorry about that. Um, it has been a super fun stream. Jimbo, thanks for being here. Corvus, uh, you may have snuck out. You did! Um, but uh, Gray, Blue, uh, Jimbo, Black Box, thank you guys so much for being here. Um, all you wonderful bots, just keep botting around, I guess. Um, and uh, yeah, we will catch you next time, uh, probably Thursday. And we will try to do uh, a longer stream. Hopefully I will not be completely destroyed. Everybody have a wonderful night. We'll catch you later. Bye-bye.